got a moped. I had to say, waiting for the bus out there. <laughs> that was one of our homies right there. What kind of thing fucking with us? I'm like, what did you do? A devout man and one that feared the most high. I just asked him. With ahead. all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to the most high always. That's talking about Cornelius. Like, he's a Roman supporter. Kind of like similar to what the cops are, you know, in a way. Mm -hmm. They got the, they rocking the eagle of Jupiter on their cop car and on their badge. Just like Cornelius had a, if he was in the, uh, in the army, he had, he had to rock the eagle. He had no choice. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. He saw an vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of the Most High coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. Now, ain't no angel gonna go see no uh, no uh, heathen. A bomb. <laughs> right. No. Hell no. Ain't no, no. Ain't no angel. Demon. Ain't no angel coming here. That motherfucking Judah was here. Uh, a gang. Yeah, a gang. That one, man. He's too low level to be a gang. That was a gang. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a gang was a piece of shit. He Just was. A, uh, like weak as hell. And, Right, right. Yeah, that's right. This guy. Oh yeah. This yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, which didn't look like the average just like, like, you know what they say, John Shaft or uh, Wesley Snipes. Oh, Wesley Snipes. Snipes. Okay. Um, and he went, he looked like the Most High came to him. He was afraid and said, what is it, Lord? And he said unto him, like the Most High came to him. What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, my prayer and thy own are come up for a memorial for the Most High. I have proof that all black, uh oh, his life ain't going to be all black because he was, the elect is 144,000. You ain't never gonna get 144,000 black people to teach this word. You know, this just look like just black people. <laughs> you see the Illuminati sitting in the back of the car? Oh, yeah, they made it. You see that Freemason shit on the back of this shit, bro? Zooming on the back of that window right there with the big giant rim. It? It's too blurry. It was a, uh, uh, what was it? Well, Let me see where I get this shit. I wouldn't expect it sitting on 30 and it's all like that. Yeah, definitely a Mason. Those are niggas. That's a Freemason. And I heard niggas only come to 33. Hell no, they ain't gonna come. They get up to the third degree. Third? Uh, I got it. Uh, they teach them third is the highest. Yeah, cause um, Farrakhan's a third degree. Uh, Malcolm X was a third degree. Third. Elijah Muhammad was third degree. Third degree, right? Third yeah, degree, that's right. That's all they did. Um, Esau was the only one to get to the third degree. Right, right, right. Um, Maybe a half like that, I don't know. Yeah, the Mother Nature, he is from the other kids there. Hell no. Yeah, but the Mother Nature. They don't teach you that such thing as a 33rd. Well, it depends on what Bright you talking about. If you notice, you put that one with a round in the back of their shit. They bragging about it. No, I've seen this motherfucker at my job wearing a fucking, like, a letter coat. It had the Freemason symbol on the back like he was part of a football team or something. Yeah, they bragging about it. I'll go ahead with that um, But um, oh, Nigga at the gym, man. Hamites at the gym, they be wearing shirts that um with the all CNR pyramids that has um, um obey them. It says obey them. Fuck that. And there's a bunch of Hamites wearing shirts. Yep. You don't fuck to wear something like that. Yep. And you can see it's plain Illuminati for shit. You know, all day and all kinds of stuff. It says obey them. They think they rock this and fly ass um, you know, fashion shit, you know? Because niggas are stupid. Niggas wear that shit anyway. Cause niggas know that's the key to success now. Because yeah, the knowledge is out there. So yeah. they, they, niggas flaunt it, man. And these damn like, oh, they want to fuck it for niggas. Because they don't fucking know shit. They the dumb as fuck. You got, I know you was clowning on that Dr. Oh, what? The ham. The ham. Oh, you see at the end when they was, uh, took the boy? I, 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 I turned that shit off. You ain't, oh man, I, 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 I fucked I, my, I, I could start watching that shit. Man, they was licking a cow's pussy. Oh my God. They was eating a cow's pussy. Out. They was fucking the cows. Yeah, man. Them. That's the sick, do you see, they show when they circumcise the women. No, it's a documentary called um, um, uh, Mongo Magic. It's called Mongo Magic. Shocking. I saw the actual English version. Yeah, I couldn't find that. Yeah, I, you, I, I'm surprised you didn't find it because uh, that's the first one I saw. I saw this documentary when I was a kid. I, I saw it when I was a kid. I think I see it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I, I saw it when I was I a kid. I remember it. I saw it like around 1980. 
You know, I saw him back then around 1980. That's just scary, man. Young, man. That shit was real life footage, bro. Real life footage, man. They, they was digging something out of the women's throat and putting it on the forehead, some kind of ritual, man. They, they, was, uh, something, they was digging, cutting something out of his throat. And, All thing they did was just play with dicks and play with asses and mm -hmm. shit. They was shitting food, uh, food, uh, eating, uh, you know. And, that, that's, that's that's, a, that's what an African is. Yeah, it's man. called Mongo Magic. If you can stomach watching the whole thing, just watch it. Wait, hey, I thought Mongo at Magic. Mongo Magic. Shocking African. Like, what the fuck? Man, dude, they got a nerd. Now we're in there. This is serious shit, man. That's a damn idea. You see what Esau got on his shoes? Exactly. Let's watch that shit, man. That's the end when they throw out a sex that's a man. That was sick ass shit, man. They would snatch a little boy just snatched him up. That little kid was crazy. Like, he don't want to go, bro. Go to fucking thing. Fuck that little kid, man. Fuck. Some sick ass shit, man. Um, what was I looking for? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, you want to reach me? Oh, whatever you got. I was going to get that one. I'll tell you. Let me go find a brain stuff. Hey. I'm trying to eat people who look at the party. Yeah, some of these stuff is cool, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep it real. I got a special hatred for them, though. But the fact that you gotta keep it real, though, some of them, which is a very small number of them, some of them are cool, man. Some yeah. of them are cool, because there was time uh, uh, I was uh, coming home from a, uh, from a, a wedding, it wasn't a, no, not a wedding, it was a bachelor party. Fucked up out of my mind. Going 100 down a, in the 45 zone. Come for me over, man. He took me home. And he brought my wife to get the car. And, you know, he yeah, yeah, And I saw him after, I saw him a few years later. And he said, I pulled you over and took you home. And Remember the cops in New York City? When we were in jail? Yeah. If they was cool, why'd you lock me up? Right. They weren't cool, they was assholes. They should have never locked me up. Right. That's why I'm never going back to New York ever again. Right. That, was a, that, was, that wasn't even no offense they locked you up for. I was probably, so I was being a witness for the most high fuck me up. Well, you know, having a nice man, that's just showing that uh, the devil, uh, that's the devil, man. Say these devils running this system, man. They rocking the shit. Lock you up for that shit. They just showing that what's going on now, the time we're living in, uh, the time of the new world order, man. Martial law or whatever the fuck. Well, they, yeah, but the food stamps are getting Everything cut. Everything happens to spirit. Everybody's food stamps are getting cut. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Then they're getting cut by, like, I don't know how much, like $38 a piece. Which People, they're, they're, 36, afra they're afraid. 38, something like that. Yeah. 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 They said it might be food stamp rights tomorrow, next week. It's coming up soon. If it don't happen, it ain't, I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen by the way, though. I think it's going to come. I'll just say, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Right. All this is built, it's a build up to what's coming. We pray it's that we do. Up. We do pray it happens tomorrow. Yeah, right. We pray, right. We do pray that it does. Right, what you got? You got you know, tomorrow always said, man, since some riot started over in Spain and Italy and, yeah. and um, um, Greece, you always said they were coming here. Here it is. But they're on their way. It's a matter of time. Yep, just a matter of time, man. Us the scripture says it's coming. You know? But this is like a new rap, man. Uh, Isaiah 20, uh, 20, uh, 29. Therefore, thus said the Lord, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall now shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. That's that scripture I want to get out. About these devils, you know, we are we come, we rising up. Them damn devils come, they losing their power, man. They, they started to look weak. They did, they did, that dude did look weak. Mm -hmm. yeah, they started to look real, weak. Real Pitiful. Like yeah, when a cop took us up for him and for us and not him. Right. <laughs> right, yeah, caught, yeah. Can, can, uh, every Jew to come out here to base was, actually two out of three that came out called the cops on us. That's all, actually the only people to call the cops on us in, a, in the last so many weeks or whatever, a year. Hey, it's all these goddamn Jews. Every time you talk to one of them, they call the cops on you. The they get their feelings hurt, then they call the cops. Like a little faggot. Right. That's why you shouldn't even talk to them. Fuck it. Bunch of faggots, man. Some always do come out of the Gotta admit that.
Oh, always yeah. something good come out. Man. And yeah, it did. He just made himself look stupid on yeah, camera. Yeah, that shit just totally backfired on him. Now everybody's gonna <laughs> be clowning on his ass on the internet. It is own kingdom. It's the most high program. Ain't nobody removing us too. The yeah. most high removes us from this, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's his program. What did you say you got something? Yeah. First John 4 and 5. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. Hey, where you at? Uh, first John 4 and 5. Oh, yeah, we did. We started at the top, man. Boy, boy. All right. First John 4 and 1. So, Beloved, no. believe not every spirit. So, we're down with Shakespeare and then. I saw some motherfuckers go up to Esau Land. Um, Say Esau Land. Yeah, where these, these houses, man. It's off of uh, Owen Tangent River, man. Uh, Not Owen Tangent River. I think it's Owen Tangent River. But anyway, these houses are multi million dollar houses. And they're all along the river. You know, and Esau and a bunch of them. Uh, Low bikes are out there. It's a weird uniform looking like a medieval day playing sports. <laughs> playing sports, man. That's like the Renaissance stuff. That's like, what it is. Yeah. Yeah, we should, you probably get some books in the Renaissance man. Yeah, we talking about one book. Hell yeah. I just found some fools, man. Yep. Go get drunk and get one of them uh, crazy bitches. There'd be some fine ass homes out there doing that weird shit. I like man, the they were serious with it too, man. They was actually acting like they was killing each other. <laughs> they probably played Dungeons and Dragons too. Mm -hmm. Real life Dungeons and Dragons. And we said that trip as we get it. First John 401, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Uh, we tried that one Jew came up, we found out he was a dummy. <laughs> Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh is not of God. So that's, that's that fake Jew that came up. They, 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 they all say that the, the Lord, they all deny the Bible, man. They deny the New Testament. They, they deny the Old Testament. They're a bunch of faggots. These fucking weirdos are everywhere, man. Golden calf on the Where's some tight ass pants? See that golden calf on the Is that a golden calf? Oh, yeah. Is that on camera if you can? Oh, okay. That's the golden calf on the table. Damn bus blocking the wall. Yeah, he got a bow on top of the He probably knows it's bow, too. Yeah, that's right. He really got a golden calf on the table. It's a demonic ass movie. It's a demonic ass movie. He he know he kinda know what that is. Because who's the golden calf on the table? He know what that is. Hell yeah, he know what that should be. He probably ain't talking to this. Go ahead with that one. I will do it They go here, they get ass raping parties. Cocaine and ass raping. That's what they're here for. Sticking hills up each other's back. <laughs> What'd you say? Sticking weasels down their pants? Hills and weasels. That's crazy. That's wild. Shit they do, man. First John 4 and 3. And every spirit that confesses of not that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh is not of God. Anybody that come out here and to deny the Lord, hey, you, know, you automatically know they no good, man. Like, hey, guys, with me. Yeah. yeah. That's how you know you can't trust some devils over there. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And actually, this is actually this is really talking about uh, like a lot of Gnostics you got, because you got a lot of people who believe in the Bible, but they say the, it's just a metaphor. Okay, he's not really real. I believe in it, and I get great wisdom found in the Bible, but it's just a metaphor. You know, that's what a Gnostic is. And that's what that's talking about, too. It's talking about anybody that denies the Bible, they the devil, man. The point is, too. Keep on. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yeah. That's a, yeah, we over, yeah, we overcome the world by saying fuck the world. He's coming out here doing the work. You know, so he, they are of the yeah. world. Therefore speak they of the world and the world heareth them. Yeah, so these people ain't gonna listen to us unless we talk a bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? Talk about a bunch of retarded shit. 
If we was out here rapping or something, we probably rapping. <laughs> yeah, we start have a free rapping. Had a bucket for pool where they could you throw the change. Back in the day, how we used to be on the corner singing and shit. Have a freestyle contest. Yeah. <laughs> but we have a we have some battles, so we're gonna have some rap battles. Crowd off this motherfucker. Right? We get a crowd Break out. dancing oh, and shit. We have cool. cardboard out here. Yeah. And nobody joining in if we talking about the Bible. And all these preachers, if you do talk about the Bible, you gotta do like a one of these preachers in the church is like uh <laughs> I forgot all that. Uh, I'm sick, I can't think. Like Marjo. Who? Marjo. Yeah, Marjo. What's your boy, Joe Osteen? Oh you get up there and just talk like a faggot with a sweet, soft voice. It's like hey, God just loves you so very much. <laughs> hey, play your trombone for it. <laughs> Yeah, and you don't know what God has in store for you. That's true, true. Uh, actually, you don't know what He got in store for you. You don't know. Hell yeah! Go ahead, what you got? First, First John four and five. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. And the world heareth them. That tells you how stupid these dumbass women are, man. Because the only people in these churches are women. So everybody knows the church is bullshit, okay? That's why I know men go to church. Why would you go to church? I ain't going to some bullshit. Because it, it is some bullshit. So the only people that are stupid enough to go inside of church is these goddamn women. It tells you how dumb a fucking woman is. And everybody knows of preachers that just get money. I mean, it's obvious. Everybody knows that. Everybody that bitch only in the church anyway because she did so much wickedness. Going to church the way of what she thinking she's cleaning her, yeah, and cleaning her system out. Yeah. So that tells you how stupid a bitch is. That's a strong delusion. Right. That's a strong delusion. Look at that Yeah. A bitch will believe, as long as you talk to a sweet, in a sweet, soft voice, the yeah. woman will believe anything you say, just like the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Because the serpent, when the serpent came up, okay. that's why it's called fork tongue. You know what I mean? Yeah. You talk like a serpent. You come up talking all smooth. Hey, get that scripture, Isaiah. I mean, Saul, I get it. Saul 55, I get it. Hold on. Read that again, what you got? First John 4 and 5, they are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that know God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. So if you don't hear us so and don't understand what we say, that means you're not of God. <laughs> Hereby know we are the, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Hmm. First Corinthians 1 and 47. But the most high have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And the Most High has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. That's why we are here, you know. Whether they want to hear it or not, <laughs> whether they care or not. I got scripture for you. It's going to affect them anyway, you know. I got scripture for you, devil. This is Psalms 55. It, uh... I can't think. It's very... No, I got, I got it. Psalms uh, 55 and 20. He that put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them, he hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they are drawn swords. That's talking about all these politicians. Like Barack Obama, he can have, he, he speak all these smooth words. Everything he say sounds smooth. He's a great orator. Mm -hmm. Give great speeches. You know what I'm saying? Don't never stutter. Just be on point with his shit. But everything he's saying, he's just saying, he just saying everything you want him to say, man. He's just saying what you want to hear. Like he said, like that Obamacare, he said nobody's going to lose their insurance. It's like if you like your old plan, you can keep it. But like thousands of, not thousands, millions of people losing their insurance. Now he just said, if you dropped your insurance, just shop around. Yeah, but I thought you could keep your old insurance. Well, he said shop around. Well, first of all, what the fuck is insurance? Only the devil will create something called insurance. <laughs> I got, you tell me, I'm paying you in case some shit happens? Yeah. What kind of fucking, and then it's mandatory? And I have to pay you? That's like car insurance. You're not allowed to drive without car insurance. 
What kind of fucked up shit is that, man? That is evil. That's just another pay. And then when you you actually get in a wreck, they don't want to pay you. Yep, yep. They try to get out of it. Goddamn devil, man. Let me read this. Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet where they were drawn sword. Let me read a little more, I guess. I read the last bit of it. Weirdos. Cast a burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their day, but I will trust in thee. So yeah, all these devils are gonna be brought down to the pit. That's hell. That pit, that's talking about slavery, man. That pit means death. And actually, the pit means a grave. <laughs> that means your, your ass is dead. That's what that means. What the fuck, man? I was trying to find a scripture that you eat. You know, how the serpent came on slick and smooth. Same way now, how they use peace to get what they want. Destroy nation. They come with peace. They come with peace. You know? Where they hurt. Well, just like the ending is. They told they told it the Supreme Court passed a law that said the Indians could stay in uh stay in uh Georgia, right? The, the Cherokee. They said they could stay there, but Andrew Jackson, he turned his back on them. And yeah, sure the fuck did. They said the hell with what the law says. Well, he's supposed to be a, the fucking president. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be the symbol of what America represents. Sure. So that tells tells you what America represents is death and destruction. See? Deceit. Yeah, deceit. But it's a bloody city. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind having to big ass titties right now. Smack the red. I'm here, boy. Got something to cuddle with. Go ahead. You got something to read? so-called curse words, okay? That means you're just a faggot-ass, punk-ass bitch, man. Weak-ass bitch. You're just a weak, liberous, and faggot. Goddamn, what do they call it? A jabroni, a, a brony bitch. Yeah. If you get offended a cuss word, man, you're a weak bitch, man. A weak faggot. Like, uh, uh, oh, yeah, don't watch an R-rated movie when we say fuck all. Oh, and then we can't do that. A bunch of hypocrites, man. That's why the Lord's gonna fuck y'all up, man. Fuck them up. We're gonna fuck y'all up. The spiritual land. And we're gonna fuck you up too, man. If the Lord's gonna give us power, we're gonna fuck y'all bitch asses up, man. Two thirds of Israel, you're gonna get destroyed. We're gonna fuck you up, man. Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause. Jeremiah 50 and 9, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. Oh, yeah, so Babylon's talking about America. It's laying a great confusion. And all, all nations on the planet Earth are going to come against America. Yeah, and that's how, that's how America's going to be destroyed. Keep going. From this, she shall be taken. You see, all countries right now are mad at America because America spying on all these nations. They spying on Germany. They spying on Russia. They spy. They just came out today that uh, the NSA got caught spying on the Pope. You know what I'm saying? So all nations hate America. They gonna fuck America up, man. And they, all these people, they just la la. They don't know what's going on. They don't have no clue. They just watching football. You know what I'm saying? Watching basketball in a goddamn days. You know what I'm saying? In a complete, they in fucking fantasy land. They have no clue about the destruction and death that's coming, man. You can tell this is Christian talking about America too, because Hell yeah. only one nation took down the ancient that was about that 
Yeah, all nations will come to you. Yes, of course. Of course. Everyone, uh, Alexander the Great was Macedonian. Yep. That's a good point, man. Yep. That was a good point. That's a good point. Very good point. Yeah, because all nations gonna come against America. They gonna destroy this place. And Russia gonna be the head of that. Just like when that city. Y'all see who, who, who was the head when Obama was about to attack Syria? Who took charge? It was Russia that took charge. So Russia's gonna be the leader on the attack on America, bro. They gonna be the head, the head force. Just like America's in charge of NATO, and they running NATO. But Russia's gonna run this new alliance. Go ahead, go ahead. Jeremiah 50 and 9, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence shall she be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. That yeah, shall return in vain. Right now, like right now, it's been exposed how America has been doing all kind of wicked shit against these other nations. Like they found out the NSA has been spying on world leaders. You yep. know, phone calls. You know, we, you know, everybody got a phone call. Like this wicked shit. They are spying on the. They doing that to blackmail, but all kinds of wicked yep. shit. Yep. Yep. You get secrets and do anything they can do with it. Right. They do whatever they can do with it. So all these nations, they just get fed up with this shit phone call, man, this shit over there. They get tired of this shit. They get tired of these motherfuckers, man. And then, you know, Americans and Vincent do something else that's gonna really piss them off. Well, now they talking about fucking going in Iran. They, they've been talking about going in Iran. But now they getting serious about it. So they say, they said Iran, Iran's only a week away now from having a nuke. But they probably... They said that last week. I've heard people, I've heard people say they've already had them for a while. You know, you know, so you know, we don't really know, but yeah, they've already had. Of course, yeah. I was just reading this morning how um, about um, the uh, how nuclear missiles work, their fuel, how the fuel actually works, yeah. you know, how uh, America and Russia they they first their nuclear missiles used to be uh, uh, liquid fuel, and now it's all solid fuel, and now and then there's a uh, they jumped to Iran, and Iran went immediately to solid fuel, where solid fuel is more efficient. Than liquid fuel. Liquid fuel is more dangerous to you. They on a mission, fuel. right? And uh, in Iran's mission is they gonna blow up Israel. That's what they gonna do. <laughs> they gonna blow that motherfucker up. They gonna carry that shit apart. And, and them Jews, they afraid that Iran's gonna bomb them. They should be afraid. Well, why would they have a, a, a ballistic missile program? Then? You know, of right. course they got the bomb. They gonna right. blow. You no. Know? Iran is going to blow Israel right. to pieces. They got an actual ballistic missile program. And they already sent satellites in space, so you know they going to plan this motherfucker. They ready, man. And, and they ain't going they, 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 they to shoot no missiles until they got a few of them, too. They going to wait. They, you know what I mean? <laughs> they going to make sure they got enough missiles to make it through. <laughs> and they got some, uh, those advanced centrifuges yeah, that, that, that produces the plutonium and uranium at a higher rate. And so that's why you said that they're two weeks a week away from... Uh, I mean, even Ahmadinejad, when he was president, he told you, like, look, we're gonna wipe him off the map. Right. He's not playing. Right. Hey, is fucking serious about this shit. It's that's gonna right. be wonderful, too. That's right. Ahmadinejad, the old president that just... I can't pronounce that new motherfucker's name. Let me finish this. Jeremiah 50 and 10. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, says the Lord. Yeah, America's modern day Chaldea, the land of sorcerers. She gone. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of my heritage. They rejoiced. Just like that Jew when he's up here, he's laughing that we was poor and he had money. You know what I mean? He was making fun of us. He's like, ha ha, I got three houses, motherfucker. Laughing at us. Riding the bus. In New York. Well, they probably, well, them Jews are penny pinchers. They'll ride the buses because gas costs too much. Yeah. But he probably got two cars parked at home. He don't, he don't want to spend no money on gas. He's going to wait until he can rob somebody. Look, here comes Crocodile Dundee. He, he, yeah, they probably siphon gas. <laughs> and a goddamn Jew, they don't have money and they'll still siphon gas. You know what I mean? And that's how dirty they are. They have pinch any penny they can. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah 50. In 11, because ye 
were glad because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of my heritage. Who the fuck watch that with you like this? Crocodile Dundee. That's terrible, man. Usually when we get rid of them. And Jake Ward, though, it looked like a bad motherfucker. He looked like a bad motherfucker. Yeah, we had a tilt to the side. Yeah, we, we put them ass on you right. Yeah, it was like this. We like some bad motherfuckers. You're like, he got alligator teeth on his hat, nigga. That one, 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 who? Uh, who is that one cat? Uh, oh, well, like the 80s, he's a rap. He had a used to wear a hat just like that, but he kept his silly to the side. You know, he used to wear like a vest. Grandmaster Flash. Grandmaster Flash used to wear cowboy hats. I've been wearing yeah. cowboy hats since the 80s. I've been wearing Baron Bonnie. All kind of cheap, I, I wanna, too expensive. I wish I could give me a nice cowboy hat. I'll I got rock a couple of I get cow. I like get some uh, boots. I got a couple of heavy rifles. You're serious. Yeah, the Mexicans, they know how to do it. Yeah, they be wearing that shit. Mm -hmm. They wear, the Mexicans wear nothing but cowboy hats and shit. Yeah, yeah. They don't actually, I Mexicans, they, they ain't the ones that invented that style. That's where it comes from. I think it comes from Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Jeremiah 50 11, because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of my heritage, because ye were. Yeah, the Lord's heritage is Israel. So that, that's all about like Esau destroying the Lord's heritage. They destroyed the Lord's heritage. And by the way, they fucking what were we talking about all night? They just continually fuck your ass up out here, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, and below as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded. Huh? Your mama. Yeah, fuck your mama. Yeah, fuck your mama, man. Fuck your mom. Fuck your grandma. Okay, so you know the Bible said you're supposed to respect your parents. The Bible never said to respect a hoe. It said to actually, so the Bible said to put an adulterous woman to death. Okay, that's what it says. And usually adulterous women just happen to be mothers. Most of them are, because they're already married. That's how they got committed to adultery. So yeah, fuck your mama. Fuck your adulterous ass auntie. Yo, greasy. What we used to say when we was kids? Fuck your greasy ass grandma. You know what I'm saying? We used to say that all the time back at Elementary. That's why your mom wears combat boots. Yeah. Yeah, fuck your. Yeah. Fuck all your shit, man. Go ahead. Jeremiah 50 and 12. All these fat, porky bitches, man. Bitches weighing 500 pounds. Go ahead. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. <laughs> hey man, check it out, man. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get this cat, bro. Yep. Yeah. You know, bro. Bitch was yeah. beautiful on the internet. Beautiful stuff. Oh, that's man. how they do you. Man. You know, pulled up in her, in her truck. Yeah, she, she still looks not bad. But when that bitch got off the truck, man, her stomach was out. It said, <laughs> right. It came out way before she got out. <laughs> I, well, I gotta go, baby. You know what I'm saying? No, I gotta go, baby. You know? I met one of them like that before. That shit fell out, man. She was like, hey, turn it around, please. Don't look at me. I don't want to even see. Bye. Did they probably took you probably took their pictures. They take their fat bitches on the internet. Just here shot. Know how to use Photoshop. You know what I mean? They know how to use that shit. That bitch got off the car, her shit came and literally fell out. Damn. I couldn't believe what the fuck I was seeing, man. <laughs> It was some terrible looking Why shit. Why did you just all you know, take it like a man? Oh, no, nah, I couldn't take that. I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I couldn't dirt up my loins. That's, like, <laughs> that's like having sex with 500. That's like having sex with 500 eight hands. You could have put your dick in between that fat. You yeah. didn't have to put it in the book. Yeah, fuck them. You might as well just go fuck, like go buy Fuck her roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go fuck a pig or something. Might as well. These bitches are deceitful as fuck, man. I'll go ahead and the internet talking about how beautiful she is. Who's supposed to be beautiful? Niggas, they love me. They always like, they irreplaceable, the right. one and only. Yeah, they always got that on their pet site, the one and only. There's right. no other like me. Right, right. Bitch, I seen like 50 hoes just like you before I got to your page. Yeah, man, when I meet niggas, all they want to do is just have sex with me. You a damn liar. Yeah. They probably do, though. Man, you probably do. You're right. You're <laughs> correct myself. I'm saying correct. Because these motherfuckers fuck anything. I don't fuck anything. Hell no. no. They literally fuck anything, man. These people are sex hungry, man. They over, they overly sexy, man. You know, they these men want to fuck oh. men. They want to fuck women. You hear about the CDC? The CDC came out and said back, uh, antibiotics have reached the, reached the end of its road or something Woo! like that. They said antibiotics no they no longer work That's right. on anything. That's right. 
That's right. And they put antibiotics in all the food and all the milk you drink mm -hmm. and the cows. Oh that's, man. And that's I, just these strands growing the resistance against this. That's some crazy disease is about to break out, man. Uh, yep, yep. Now when the antibiotics start wait. working, when they stop wait. working across the board, woo, not just during sexual venereal diseases either, mm -hmm. but on other shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, we just gonna be fucked up out here. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. And they shouldn't have been having all them antibiotics in the first damn place. He should have been committing adultery in the first fucking place. We yeah. had this goddamn problem. Like that bitch that came up, took a piss off me, came up and said yeah. that it was the um, it was the overuse, over abuse of their use, which she was yeah. kind of right in a way. But, know, she was right but, in a way. but the reason we needed it in the first place, the motherfuckers are filthy. But then once so damn filthy, you wouldn't need no antibiotics. That's right. That's why Jake was always filthy. Cause Jake, that's why the Black Plague happened to Jake in Europe. When the Black Plague broke out, they was living filthy. They, you know they was being wicked as hell. The Lord ain't gonna kill everybody like that for nothing. Yeah, my brother was always looking to buy Every fucking time I was seen, man. You know any more of them nurses? You know any more nurses? You know? yeah. He was always looking for shit. Even to this day, he's still doing the same shit, man. I'm afraid of medicine, Fuck bro. anything and fuck everything, man. I told you, man, that, that prostitute was always passing away to camp. The thick black one. Yeah, he be man. fucking that thing, man. Oh, oh, man. He be fucking her, man. He told me he did. Going up in there. He told me he did. You know, she got, you know, her pussy ass. Oh, hell. man, that bitch been out there since the, uh, the, the, the early 90s, man. Probably, and she's still out there. Still she's out there. Probably, she probably got a pussy all flaky, got yeah, scabbed. Oh, on. man, that shit probably ain't a pussy no more. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably just, just a, a uh, open wound. Like a pallet of shit. Like a fuss that, you know, yeah, when, fuss when, when something yeah. get affected, it's, yeah. uh, you can fuss. It's probably like, not even a pussy yeah, no yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> back to the yeah, yeah, this shit is getting too uh <laughs> Ain't nobody ain't, ain't nothing gonna cure that shit. Jeremiah <laughs> that fire that, well. that fire cure this is cure it, we dead. Yep, yep. Jeremiah 50 and 12. <laughs> sure. right. Jeremiah 50 and 13. Because the red because the red of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. But it shall be holy desolate. Well, America's gonna be made holy, holy desolate. Okay, there's gonna be no more no more human inhabitants in America. It's gonna be a wasteland, a giant desert. Future prophecy. Yep. You know, and this is what the Lord is saying. That's gonna that this it's gonna happen by nuclear fire. That's why the Lord says it's gonna happen. That means it's gonna happen. Like we like he just read at the top of the script, uh, the chapter. It said all nations have come against America. I got that right now. Oh, he just read it now. Oh, I need an umbrella now. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Right now, bro. My back go down. Oh. There you go. Oh, yeah, get that big. That's the boss fall gun, bro. That's, that's pretty big. That's <laughs> that, that's, he's probably a computer program. That's the color white. The pro programming language. What? It is. Where you see that at? Okay, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. That's the color white. Wow. I feel like Millie, Mary Poppins, I'm about to fly away. Umbrella going to take me off. Yeah, who would they let it? Mary Poppins watch their kids. She's taking them flying around and shit. That's dangerous as hell. Going to Never Never Land and shit. Yeah, it's a woman and her children. Yeah, careless as hell. Goddamn, they could have got killed with that bitch. <laughs> sure. yeah, that's these women and their children, man. I got that. Hold on, let me get that. Yeah, and Dick Van Dyke, too, that big faggot. Chum Chummery, Chum yeah, Chummery. That, that's a big child molester movie. Hey, go ahead, read that scripture. Jeremiah 50 and 13. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. America's gonna be made wholly desolate. There ain't gonna be no more America. God's gonna destroy America. Keep going. Everyone that goes by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. That's gonna be a terror. It's gonna be like the well, Revelation said that, that, that her partners are gonna cry. You know what I mean? Some people are gonna cry. It's gonna be so great. Keep going. Put yourselves in a in array against Babylon. Round about. All ye that bend the bows, shoot at her. And them bows are talking about those missiles. So China gonna shoot missiles, Russia's gonna shoot missiles, North Korea's gonna shoot missiles, Germany, they get spied on, they shoot missiles. 
you know, the Pope, the Pope gonna get all those Latino countries behind him, and they gonna shoot missiles. Now Britain gonna shoot missiles. They spying on Britain too. They gonna get missiles for that. Yeah. They probably seen the Queen fuck dogs right now. Yep. But you know that ugly bitch is. He's a guy. He's a minor five ever seen one. <laughs> yeah, that's the Queen Eater Mike. That, Straight up. That bitch look like a Queen Roach. Like yeah. you see that. <laughs> that's like some of an alien. Yeah. Remember the Queen Alien? That's like the Queen of England. That's like that oh, the queen. Big, the big alien. The yeah, the big, big one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that big one, yeah. That's the queen right yeah, there. That's the queen. Ugly oh, yeah. bitch. Up in the hive. The child will let bring the children's blood. Go ahead. Sacrifice some virgins. Hey, Put it. yourselves in array against Babylon. Round and about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. The modern day bow is a missile. An uh, intercontinental ballistic missile. Keep going. Spear no arrows. Spare, ain't gonna be no arrow spit. All those missiles Russia has, they got like a million missiles, man. Like literally. Literally. And they really got like a million missiles. They gonna shoot every last missile, man. The whole sky gonna be covered in missiles. Keep going. For she has sinned against the Lord. The America, really, because you got Jake all through America too. And our people definitely sinned against the Lord. And he saw the people running America. They surely sinned against the Lord. Keep going. Shout against her round and about. She has given her hand. Her it, foundations are falling. Just like the book of Psalms says, there's nobody does good out here, no doubt one. You know what I mean? Ooh. Keep going. Her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance and the of the Lord. The wall, that's talking about those missile defense systems. They gonna, they're getting <laughs> shut down, man. Ain't gonna be no missile defense system. They gonna hit your ass with an EMP. They gonna fuck y'all up, man. Y'all gonna wake up, ain't gonna be no internet, ain't gonna be no EBT, all in one day. All gonna be gone. And I was watching a documentary the other day, how they sent America's missile defense system with useless anyway. But they need billions and billions of dollars to upgrade. You hear about the Chinese putting, bugging all products they send into Russia Damn. and America. Right. Like all the, le like, electronic devices, like, uh, Right, right. Like washers, dryers, Everything. Uh, probably Walkman. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? We, we were talking about that out here one time. The yep. Ch Chinese is spying on everybody. But they got the smart fucking washers and dryers. I don't, yeah, I don't want shit from What's China. What's the point man. of having that shit though? Like, damn. You know, what, did they clean your shit better? No. <laughs> right. Fucking. Why do I need to hook my dryer up to the internet? <laughs> that don't make no sense. <laughs> that don't make sense. Everything. That's man. like that new Windows that hooks, hooks everything up to one network. Hey, like. You can hook your refrigerator up to the internet. That's crazy. Man. Your light network, like turn your lights on by a timer light through light your light internet. Ain't no point, just leave the party. Look at these calls over there, I see some That's nothing. how you know the most high real man, because Daniel 12 is just falling. Alright. Daniel 12 is just falling. I see his legs. Go ahead with that, we got 50. Jeremiah 50 and 15. Shout against her, round and about. She has given her hand, her... Her foundations are falling. The foundation of America's falling. It's already falling apart. Do you want? Her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord. You know, the vengeance of the Lord, he's going to destroy America. He's going to kill all these faggots and stuff in it, too. All these dumbass, adulterous ass women, they going to die. He going to take vengeance upon her, and she have done do unto her. <laughs> Cut Ooh. off the sword from Babylon Ooh, and know. him that handleth the sickle in the time of harvest. That's the time of harvest. We in the time of harvest, actually. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. That's right. What scripture is that? Uh, the harvest is plenty, uh, but the laborers are few. We in the time of harvest right now. But like the laborers are few, man. Hey, there's only a few people out here doing this work. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't see people like us on every corner doing the work. But we, that's what we out here. The Lord sent us out here to, to, to work on his harvest. And he's the one doing the harvest and not us. We, we, just, uh, we just doing the work. Everything we do is through the power of the most high. Cut off the sword from Babylon and him that handleth the sickle in the time of harvest. Oh, you got an umbrella blocking the camera. Go ahead. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people. 
and they shall flee everyone to his own land. And a lot of these heathens who came to America, they're going to try to go back to Africa. <laughs> you know? Go ahead. Like the goddamn Muslims, yeah, take your ass back to Saudi Arabia. Go ahead. Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. Yeah, Israel scattered. That's why Israel don't know he's an Israel. He gone. First, the king of Assyria has devoured him, and last, the ne and last this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has broken his bones. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land, as I have punished the king of Assyria. And I will bring Israel again to his habitation, and he shall feed on caramel, and Bashan and his soul shall be satisfied upon Mount Ephraim and Gilead. In those days and in that time, said the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sucked, and there shall be none in the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserve. That's, that's the point I really on. This that's is on Matthew 9 and 36, for when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Yeah, that's why they, everybody's so goddamn stupid. They, 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 they sheep with no shepherd. That's why that's why everybody's so retarded. They, they ain't never been taught. You can't know nothing unless someone teaches you. And these people ain't been taught shit but lies and bullshit. All they know about is movie stars. They don't, they don't know anything about history, but they know about the history of their favorite rapper or a movie star. People are retarded as hell, man. They can tell you how many touchdown passes Joe Montana threw. Oh, yeah, they can yeah. tell you every Super Bowl, who yeah. won every Super Bowl in order. In then they, order. Then they'll fight yeah. about it. They'll fight. With the MVP. And the coach and what high school he yeah, taught they know at. What high school and college he went to. Right. Man, that tells you that they're not really. That's what the most high for the spirit is deep that's sleep on them, man. That's a, yeah, that's a retarded ass knowledge. Okay. It, then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous. The harvest is plenteous. I mean, there's a lot of Israelites, you know what I mean? There's a lot of work to do. Because <laughs> Israel's the greatest nation on earth. There's more Israelites than any other nation. The more numerous than the stars of heaven. Keep going. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's another name for us. Zion. Oh, Zion. The, the mountain of Zion. Yeah, we're a great mountain. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. We're we like it unto a mountain. Not a monument. A monument. Mm -hmm. Stars. Yep. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. So the laborers are few. That's me. Don't because don't nobody believe, man. They don't really want to do the work of the Lord. They're afraid they're gonna get made fun of. They ain't afraid that they, a woman gonna leave them or something. Yeah. Like, my baby ain't, she ain't gonna let me do that. Like, you a bitch ass, faggot ass, fuck ass bitch, man. Yeah, yeah like you, like, yeah, like those of you brothers that fell out, man. Hey, that door's still open, man. Yeah, hey, man, don't come over open. here. You gonna do by some of do by yourself somewhere. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah. right, the certain ones that we care yeah. less by having back, man. You know? Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest. That he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Yeah, yeah, because they think you're supposed to forgive people, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's a lot of work to do. Yeah, so, so for example, like Daniel King, uh, been running in and out. Yeah. So he's not welcome back here no more. He's not welcome back here no more, man. That motherfucker can't make up his mind what he wanna do. And I heard what you say, he was having a kid by a bitch that got yeah. four, five other kids by four, five different baby daddies. <laughs> You know, I saw the little motherfucking kids before, man. They all got different baby daddies, man. And he over there loving that bitch, man. Little guy oh, never burned his bridges, but he still ain't returning phone calls. He fucking called you. You called him back, he ain't answering. Yeah. I even called him and left him a message on his voicemail. I still never got a call back. Straight up. You gotta watch some cartoons, man. Sure be, Shane, man. Sure be. Sure be. Just go play some PlayStation and do your thing. It doesn't even matter, man. You know, it's like I said, there's too much work to be done to be even worried about motherfuckers, man. 
You know what I'm saying? If someone fall out, if you fell out the truth, I'm not worried about you. I'm not concerned. I'm not. I'm not missing you. You trying to get salvation. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't like man. I just. I wish he was. No. No, I don't. But I'm moving on, bro. What's that? Life goes on. If we keep that train rolling. Yeah. No. I'm going forward. I'm not going back. I'm trying to get back to that bomb. Let me go. Let me get it. No one falls out, fuck him. Fuck him, I don't care. Be honest with you. You got time for that shit. I got important shit to worry about. This ain't the time to be falling out. This ain't the time to be falling out. Hell no. Ain't never. When you see it happening. You see it happen right in your fucking face, man. What's happening? That's what I'm saying. Like, it ain't the... It's not the time. You don't to... You forget the, the, the fear of the Lord, man. There's something wrong with you. And if, you ain't if you don't want to do the work, that means you don't even... Something's wrong with you, because this shit's fun as hell. Mm. It's the only thing it's I want. It's yeah. the only thing I yeah. think about. I wish I could come out here and teach every day. I'd be out here every day like a maniac. And crazy out of my mind teaching this word, man. They ain't gonna see me stop this. Stop doing this. <laughs> I tell y'all, if you fell out the truth, you make it up a excuse why you can't go cheat. Something ain't right with you, man. Here we go. Um, for, this is a uh, Second Peter's uh, two, and I'm gonna start at uh, twenty. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the through the knowledge of the Lord our Savior Yahweh Shai, they are again entangled in therein. And overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it has been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Yeah, so it's worse. Actually, a two-third is better off than somebody who yeah. came in the truth and fell off. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. And you ain't in the truth just because we said you're in the truth, okay? Mm -hmm. It's all about what you do. You know someone by their fruit. So if you want to still teach the word, just go teach. You don't have to be with us. We ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? Right. We ain't nobody.